guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is B, and today's makeup look is going to be this really green Grinch inspired Christmas look. I wanted to use some color in my Christmas looks this year instead of you're doing your typical like whatever, but for the first one, I wanted to do a nice green smoky eye because I had a palette that I wanted to use. I am actually using only one brand of eyeshadows and that is Melt Cosmetics. I've had this rust stack for a little while and the thing about Melt is they're all magnetized. This is probably not good for me because I just literally am the clumsiest person and will dent all of them. But the thing about Melt Cosmetics is they're all kind of magnetized. They come in a obvious stack. And then this is the... See? I can't do this! <laughs> it comes with five colors and a mirror. So this one is classic. This one is called Antique. This one is called Rubbish, which is my favorite. This one is called Rust. And this one is called Rot. And it's obviously tones that I love. Let me try that one more time. These are all tones that I really love. So I'm glad I picked up this palette. And the palette that's on my actual eyes is... <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this palette because I just... I wish it was the packaging was different, but it's called the, <laughs> I'm going to try to cover it up as much as I can, the Smoke Sessions Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So it's got all of these colors here. Obviously, I gravitated towards these green shades. This one is a very strange formula. It's incredibly soft and it like falls apart really easily but it's very like once you blend it out it's so smooth like it's very smooth and then of course i love this shade right here and it's gonna be this beautiful just beautiful metallic shade which is sweet tooth the showstopper of course is called Mean Green, which is this center shade right here. I mean, I just, they're all very soft. It's all very smooth, but you just have to be a little bit careful with them. I don't think they are beginner user friendly. So you kind of have to know how to blend. You kind of have to know how to work with soft formulas. It was a little bit difficult for me. And you know, I'm not going to say that I'm an expert of makeup, but it, you know, it is what it is. I just, I had to make it work and I, I figured it out. So this is the palette that is on my eyes along with the rest stack. So if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so going into the Melt Cosmetics palette, I am actually going to use the Rust Stack first, and I'm going to use this shade right here, which is called Rubbish. It's kind of like a mustardy color, and I am going to use a um, the Morphe M443, and I'm just going to put this all over the crease. It's this mustardy shade right here. I am taking this a little bit onto my actual bone because we're going to take the color really high up. And just really, really focus on blending this out. You don't want the color to be too harsh. This color is like my favorite color. And on a tapered E22 brush, I am going to pick up this shade right here called Space Green. 
and I'm going to pick it up really lightly because it's super pigmented um, and then I'm actually going to tap it off on the back of my hand so I don't get oh go overboard and I'm going to place this on the outer corner of my eye because I want the color but I don't want so much pigment in there that it's just too much see how much color was right there and why I tapped it all off on the back of my hand I just didn't I wanted the intensity but I want to build it up as slowly as possible because I I cannot handle dark colors very well dark colors really intimidate me so I tried to tread very lightly with them and this is like a very deep hunter green color so again want to tread very carefully okay and I'm gonna go back into my first brush and I'm gonna go back into that rubbish shade and I'm gonna bring back that mustard shade back into my feel like it got lost and I do want to keep this dark color really blended okay and I did not pick up any product but I just went back into that brush that uh, the E22 and I am just trying to blend this all out and I'm bringing it closer to the center of my lid so then it helps with the next shade when it blends in okay so that's what we have going on right now which it looks really good with some NYX glitter glue I'm gonna just take a little teeny tiny bit of it and I am going to place this on the rest of my eye where I don't have any shadow all right and with a flat shader brush this one right here this one is the morphe m204 I'm gonna pick up this shade right here called mean green and I am gonna place that right on top of that glitter glue really close to my lash line and we're just going to pack it on And of course, don't forget to bring it all the way up like our other eye, which I feel like and there we have that. Last but not least for the eyeshadow, the last shade we're going to use is this shade called Blue Dream right here. It is so flaky. I don't it's like crumbly flaky and it freaks me out but I'm just gonna lightly pick it up on a small little brush this is a smoky brush it's very foily and it's crumbly and I don't like it <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that right on the inner corner just to kind of give it a little bit of sparkle sparkle and I'm gonna blend it into that mean green color I mean, once you blend it out it looks like a silvery green color and it looks really really pretty and from the rust stack I'm going to pick up this shade right here called classic and I'm just going to use it on my brow bone just to kind of Okay, so that's going to be the eyes. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do some liner, some lashes, and the base. And we will be back to do everything else and the lips. So hold tight. Okay, so I have my base on. And I'm going to quickly do... I'm going to quickly do my lower lash line and I'm going to actually go into the rust stack and I'm actually going to use this shade called rot and I'm going to blend that on the lower lash line and I'm actually going to use a Sigma E25. 
so tap that off and I am probably gonna do the same thing because I'm just worried about dark shades so I'm just gonna tap it off on the back of my hand to diffuse it and I'm just gonna run it on my lower lash line right here so I'm gonna use my trusty crown brush again going back into that shade tapping it off but also diffusing it out and I am just gonna run it along my This one has been driving me nuts all day, all day, just nuts. So now for our complexion, I'm gonna go into an oldie but a goodie. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. And I am just gonna use this elf brush. Just kind of get in there. Gonna go into the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Warm Soul. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna go into a favorite, which is the Omrizi Highlighter. I'm gonna get a nice little fan brush and I'm just going to do this little number. Just like bask in its glory. I have really been loving these Sephora lip creams. Um, yeah, they're like, I guess they're stains. But anyways, I've been really loving this. This is in the shade 76. They came out with like a whole nude range and it's like kind of my thing now. But I really love them. They're light. They're really easy to apply and they're very long wearing. So in conjunction to this lip, I'm going to add a little bit of gloss to it and I'm going to use the Pet McGrath Labs Alien Gelic Gloss. It's like this really pretty clear gloss with a green, purple, pink shift and I think it's really pretty and I'm so weird about getting like these tips dirty so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it some on the back of my hand and then I'm going to apply it that way because I don't like getting the doe foot miscolored and then it's all miscolored in there. It's not my thing. Okay and then we have to finish off the face. Of course I'm using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I really really like this but I go heavy so I gotta be careful. All right, you guys, that's going to complete today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed my holiday makeup look using the Smoke Sessions palette and the Rust Stack. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And before you completely leave, please hit that post notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a video. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy holidays.